Hi everyone! In this video I will explain what's going on on the back panel of the 8480 Reverb Rack extension. On the right side you find the stereo audio input and three stereo audio outputs. The mixed audio output gives you wet and dry mixed and the other two stereo outputs give you wet and dry separated. The mix knob on the front panel regulates only the signal at the mixed audio output. In the center you find 20 bipolar CV inputs which are divided into three groups. The first group has black trim knobs. Signals at these inputs modulate continuous parameters which do not affect delay times. The faders and knobs of these parameters on the front panel control the modulation offset and the trim knobs control the modulation amount. The second group has white trim knobs and signals sent through them control parameters which are represented by buttons on the front panel. The white knobs add an offset to the signal at these inputs and if the sum of them is above zero the button counts as pressed, while below zero the button counts as released. And finally the third group is the one with the red trim knobs. Signals at these inputs modulate continuous parameters which affect delay times and the trim knobs control the modulation amount. The faders of these parameters on the front panel control the modulation offset. Let's modulate the high cut filter frequency using an LFO. Now I will connect the output of the LFO to the CV input of the high cut filter. The trim knob is at maximum, so we have full modulation. Now we just have to set the modulation offset using the fader of the high cut filter on the front panel. Now let's modulate out bypass. And now let's modulate dimension. Thanks for watching and have fun with the 8480 Reverb Rack extension.